Social professional networking. How many of you associate social networking with your job search? Good, good, I'm very glad. Um, because it is, it's huge. Um, and and there, there are social networking, um, there's also professional networking sites, um, but it all is geared toward your brand. Whether you mean to put it out there or not, you are branded um, by what's on your social network. Uh, networking is still the number one way to gain employment. Don't forget that, okay? So you want to utilize the internet for that. Uh, there are all kinds of ways to network. How many of you have Facebook? Pretty much everyone, I assume, right? That MySpace, Twitter, okay? This is how we keep in contact now um, in the 21st century. Employers know that. Uh, and a lot of recruiters will actually spend time uh, looking on these sites for potential candidates. And it's a great way to market your skills, to put yourself out there. Uh, you can create a positive impression uh, that you want employers uh, and other people to see of you. Uh, and, it, and it also gives a good opportunity uh, for you to help validate those skills, for employers to validate those skills or qualifications um, by having that information available uh, on your networking sites. And of course, it's going to attract uh, pertinent networking contacts. Uh, people in your field who share the same interests. Uh, when you do your likes, uh, other people do those likes, they get to see your profile uh, and you can share information, they get a chance to see you. They can also get fired. Yeah, some downsides. <laughs> Uh, if you're not aware uh, that you know this could have an impact on your job search, uh, you know you might be you might be out of luck uh, because employers um, might access things that you don't want them to access. Inappropriate photos of you, um, you know, it might reveal the employer poor communication skills. Uh, what do they call you? Know, have you ever heard of drunk texting? Yeah. I have a friend that does this to me at one point in the morning. Um, well, there's, there's now drunk text booking, or is it Facebooking, drunk Facebooking. Uh, this is a term, and I know this because I'm online researching stuff all day long. Um, but this is something that people will do from their, from their smartphones. Um, they'll be out at a, at a party or something, and they'll start Facebooking. Um, and it's all slurred and slandered and whatever, but it's there for everyone to see. And in the morning, they're going, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Um, employers can see this, okay? Um, based on a career builder survey, 45% of uh, employers use social networking sites to screen out candidates, to screen candidates. 45%, that's almost 50%. So think about it. Uh, how many jobs have you applied for in the last few months? Okay, maybe 20? So probably somewhere around 18 of those employers have done a search for you on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on MySpace, um, on blogs, uh, on Twitter. Oops. Okay, um, are you taking that consideration? Think about your profile. What are they seeing? Yes. Is blocking access to that? I don't have this. I'm six months from retirement, so I don't care about all of this stuff mm -hmm. myself. But. Does blocking it and not allowing somebody to have access to it, does that come across as a negative? Are we worried about that or, or they won't even know? No, it's not. Actually, if you don't want to make sure that your profile fits your professional image, you would want to make sure that you lock it down. Okay, and they're not <laughs> going to know that you blocked it. So they're not going to see a thing that says, Stu block this because... No, not because. Okay. <laughs> okay. It just says, it says, you know, so-and-so only shares their personal right. information with friends. Right. Okay. That's a good thing right. to do, just so you don't have a lot of wackos trying to get into your. Right. Yeah. Um, here's some reasons why employers disregarded candidates um, because of what they found on these social networking sites. Um, posted provocative or inappropriate photographs or information, 53% of them. 44% uh, posted content about drinking or using drugs. 35% uh, badmouthed their previous employers, coworkers, or clients. That's behavior we don't we don't want. 29% uh, show poor communication skills. 26% made discriminatory comments. 24% uh, lied about their qualifications. Uh, here's some reasons why employers hire candidates. Profile provided a good feel for the candidate's personality and fit. 39% uh, profile supported candidates' professional qualifications. 38% uh, candidate was creative. 35% showed solid communication skills. 33% candidate was well-rounded. 
19% uh, of the people posted good references about the candidate. And 15% uh, received awards and accolades. accolades. Uh, so what does your profile say about you? Ask yourself this. Uh, some tips. Um, I, I definitely recommend that you have uh, some type of networking profile out there for employers to find. Um, because if you don't create your brand, uh, somebody else will. Uh, an example, one of my coworkers um, never had a Facebook, right? Never had a Facebook, doesn't mess with that stuff. But we looked her up, and another person with her name came up. And it wasn't very pretty, let's just put it that way. Uh, but if you don't know, if you've never seen that person's face, you don't know what people are associating with your name or with you. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're, you're in control of your brand, that you're in control of the image that employers see when they Google your name. Um, and the best way to do that is to have stuff out there. Okay? Just make sure it's good stuff. Uh, make sure that you're projecting the type of image that you want employers to actually see. Uh, one of, another one of my coworkers suggests to her clients that they create, uh, if you have a Facebook, have a personal and a professional. Keep it separate. Uh, lock down your personal and leave open your professional. Um, adjust those privacy settings, okay? If you got stuff on there that you don't want employers to see, lock it down, all right? Don't let them in there. Uh, follow or like companies uh, that you're interested in, uh, industries, uh, things that, you know, would definitely draw attention uh, to people that you could network with in those areas. Uh, join groups, discussion lists. Again, you want your name to be out there. Uh, if you're very smart, uh, if, if you're very knowledgeable about a topic, talk about it. Talk about it online. Uh, because again, when employer Googles you, they'll be able to see uh, that information of what you posted. Um, if you posted a blog or if you were involved in a discussion list. Uh, it shows your involvement. Monitor who you're friends with. Uh, a lot can be said about who you hang with. Okay. Uh, so be careful. Uh, some social and professional networking sites uh, that I recommend. Uh, LinkedIn, I'm going to put it number one because this is purely business, all professional. Um, if you really want to create a good professional profile, you really want an opportunity to network with other people uh, who are also looking uh, for that business networking, uh, go to LinkedIn, linkedin.com. Uh, it's a great place. You can post your resume. You can get re uh, referrals, references. Uh, super great site. Uh, Facebook actually has some uh, add-ons uh, that you can uh, for business networking. Uh, Twitter is very popular uh, amongst a lot of uh, companies and employers. And WordPress is a place you can go to search blogs and start your own blog if you if you like. All right, last but not least, internet safety. Very important stuff. Uh, you want to be aware of fraudulent jobs when you're on the internet because they are everywhere. Uh, and, and they will try really hard uh, to steal your identity, to um, con you, uh, make you invest in something bad, uh, or sell, just get your information so they can sell it to third parties. Uh, it's all happening and it's everywhere and it's really hard uh, you know, it's really hard to track. Um, I know that, you know, a lot of your job works try really, really hard, but when they're paying, um, you know, to put a posting out there, they, they just don't have the time to, to verify every single thing. Another reason why I would like to be in a career connect. Um, so we have a whole group of preferred employers that we have met, that we have spoke to, that we have verified they're legitimate. Um, and then it's a lot safer environment than some of your larger job boards like Monster and Career Builder and Hot Jobs and things like that. Uh, red flags, things that you should look for, okay? Uh, if you're asked to provide banking or credit card information, this is not a good idea, okay? This is probably a scam. Uh, I've had people tell me, well, when I was filling out the application, um, they needed my uh, checking account number for my direct deposit. Mm -hmm. Nope, because they're not going to need to direct deposit until you get the job. Okay, that's not something you're going to provide beforehand. They're not going to pay you before they hire you. All right? Uh, the domain and the email address does not match the company domain. Uh, anytime that you ever send an email to an employer, um, it's, it's first name, last name at company.com for the most part. Okay? So if you're applying for a job at ABC Company and their email address is, you know, uh, Sherry Evans at yahoo.com, 
I'm going to be a little suspicious, okay? Uh, if the position requires an initial investment, a good job, a good employer, I, I really can't think of any that, that wouldn't. Um, they're gonna, if they're going to train you, they'll pay for that training. Uh, you should never have to pay for your own training. Uh, and you should never have to invest to get a job. If you are ever asked to invest money, I would turn away, okay, immediately. Uh, if the posting contains a lot of grammatical and spelling errors, uh, this is something that's a red flag. Uh, probably not very professional. This is someone just throwing something together, uh, not really caring, not paying attention. Work from home jobs. I'm going to say at least 98%, if not 100, of these are scams. I actually had a gentleman in one of my workshops. This was great. Uh, he, there was a job that he, he applied to, uh, or he sent his $35 in and it said, uh, you know, work from home, make thousands of dollars a week. Uh, all you have to do is send $35 and we'll send you the kit. Right. So he gets the kit and the kit tells him how to post the same ad on different job boards, charge people $35. So there's no job, uh, it's just a scam. Uh, he said, you know, he just threw it away, he lost 35 bucks. Um, but no, it's never, never to do it yet. Uh, so most work from home jobs, no. Um, if the posting does not include a job description and it's focused on pay. Uh, these are those ones and we had one uh, not too long ago, I think it was Career Builder. Everybody was coming into our office wanting to apply for this job because it was $21 an hour, warehouse worker, no experience needed, would train. That was the entire job description. There was nothing else, no, no information. There was the company name. It took you to an online application. Uh, the online application looked like any other application. You fill it out. It's asking for all your information, just like an application would. As soon as they got done filling out the application, their email would just explode with spam. Now this particular company was just collecting your information to sell it to third parties for advertising. It could have been worse. They could have been trying to steal your identity. So you've got to be careful. Again, that's why you research before you apply. So, yes. Uh, if the company's website does not contain information about the company, uh, some of your really good gurus out there, the really techie ones, they'll create a website for you to go to um, just to make it look legitimate. Um, but if they don't actually provide a service or sell a product, if you can't determine what that is from their website and all it talks about is the position, mm, I, I'd start questioning it. That's a red flag. Uh, 